PreGame.com. PreGame.tv, Atlanta, Indiana. I'm going to have a free play on this. I'm excited to be talking about this game. Uh, obviously, we have the much better team in Indiana, and yet they have lost now 13 consecutive games at Atlanta. How can that happen? Let's start with my favorite, <laughs> Brian Leonard. There you go. Now, see, he, he, he's an equal opportunity offender. Well, there's you two, agreed with my last play. Two outs like and nobody that. on. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Milwaukee, Brian is Brian is yeah. a huge play here on Milwaukee, and if he wins it, I'm going to owe him dinner. So, you already owe me dinner from before, and we've never seen it. I'll get I'll get to you. But we'll get back to the basketball game here. Um, yeah, this is to me it's classic here. I mean, Indiana is the better team. I don't know if they're hugely better, but they are the better team in this matchup. And Atlanta played well at home, dominated Indy at home, a place that they haven't played well in. We already talked about that. Sorry. Haven't won in like 13, years. I believe you said. How many years is that? I, 13 games, whatever amount that is. Yeah. But they have not played well there. And Indiana is the better team. I like the situation here with Indy. I think the line's cheap. I played this early when it opened. Someone texted you. Somebody texted me. Very I'm, early in the Fortunately, morning. I had just played it. but So I was definitely <laughs> in agreement. But, uh, yeah, you've got the great situation here with Indy. Indy's the better team. Now they're coming back home. They played well at home. I like them. It's one of your five, your one one of your teams on your five team all chalk. Yes, it is. So <laughs> money, it's my chalk money, money, money line parlays. round robin, baby. So I know you like it. I, I love it. And another one where historical probability reflects that Indiana is going to win this game straight up. And if they're going to win the game straight up, it has cover written all over because I think their defense finally shows up. And what I mean by that is this. You have the team that's number one defensively in field goal percentage allowed overall. Number one in three Better point, than Memphis. Number one in three-point field goal percentage allowed overall in the NBA. And they allow – they're number uh, two in points allowed, only 90.7 per game. And yet – They've allowed Atlanta to average 95 per game against them in this series so far. So I don't think we've seen the best of this Indiana defense just yet. And game five is when they're going to bring it because historically teams in this spot tied 2-2 where they lose, they win two games, then lose two games. They've won 18 of 22 times. They've won that game five at home. That's 82% straight up. And when you look at all the rounds, all the series combined, so, I mean, even when you have a one versus a two or whatever it is, um, it's still 74%, big sample size, 109 and 39. They win this game five. This is a pivotal game five. I think you're going to see Indiana defense show up, double-digit win written all over it. And I did want to point out, you talked about how, how well Indiana defends. They do play in an Easter conference that doesn't take as many shots. It's a slower pace game. So even though the numbers may say that they're better in Memphis, I believe Memphis playing in the Western Conference is yeah. a better defensive yeah. team just because of the style of play. But Indiana is a great defensive team. 31-11 at yep. home. And, and, and these Atlanta Hawks, I mean, they are fakers. I mean, yeah. they are partiers. Yeah, no business. They, yeah. they, every now and then they step it up. Usually they get swept right out of the playoffs. Every now and then they have a nice showing at home. They win their home games like they almost beat the Celtics. So when your people say they almost beat them, no, they got murdered. Murdered when they went to Boston Garden games five and seven in that series, they were able to win the home games. But they folded up like a like a cheap suit when it really came down to the matter and the games on the road that they need to win. So I'm ready to make this one official. I like it. Yeah, we got Indiana laying six and a half to seven. I would jump all over that minus six and a half ASAP. It's a free play, but it's a very, very strong free play. I would be shocked. Scores are going well. VR smiling. <laughs> Brian Leonard is ecstatic. I haven't seen, I, we haven't been so happy until we saw the Macho Man take out Jake the Snake Roberts oh. yeah, <laughs> in a deadly snake match 20 years ago. We had ago. any credibility that's been gone after Jake this the lesson. Snake was from Stone Mountain, Georgia. And the way he folded against the Macho Man in one of their matches, it's going to be similar to this <laughs> right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> One time! He, does, he doesn't One know the quarterback yeah. on half the teams he's batting, but yet he knows where this guy came from. Oh, the madness! The madness! Yeah. He's looking Whistle. for Elizabeth. That's what I was just going to say. Chick back. Pregame.tv. <laughs> Brooklyn, Chicago. Yeah! <laughs> I freaking love